Hey everybody, it's Morgan Crane, and I just wanted to come to you for a five minute motivational moment, minivan moment, if you will, before I pick up my kids. So I hope everyone's having a great day. And if you are watching the replay, make sure to hit subscribe so you can always see you as soon as I go live. And um, feel free to like and comment, but hello, hello. So I've had this on my mind for a couple days and I've been waiting for like the perfect moment you know, waiting for that perfect moment to go go and talk to you guys, and it's it's never there. You see, you can hear the baby in the back seat. Um, but I just wanted to say something that I've been thinking about, and I've been working today or working recently and kind of claiming who I am, claiming my ideas. I am Morgan Crane. I am a network marketing professional. I am a motivational speaker. I am a coach. I am a mother of three. I am a dream builder, I am a world changer. And when you claim those things, you put those out in the universe, someone might hear you say that and say, if someone might hear you say that and say, wow, like she sounds really powerful and amazing. Someone else might hear you say that and say, wow, she sounds kind of full of herself. Someone else might hear that and say, I wonder how I could be like her. But if you don't claim those things and put those things out into the universe and, um, speak about yourself and what you're doing and what you want to do and where you want to go with your life, then nothing's ever going to happen. You're never going to go forward in those dreams. So I know in my past, the past two and a half, three years of my life have been really changing for me. I've done a lot of new things. Um, I've done you know, I'm, I'm a different person than I was two and a half years ago. I'll just say that. And people who knew me two and a half years ago, um, some have caught on, you know, some, some see me differently now and some still see me as the person that I was two and a half years ago. And that's okay. Um, I would like them to start paying more attention, you know, but I realize that I can't let the way that people see me or, you know, continue to see me or, um, you know, if, if, if their perception of me hasn't changed despite how I have actually changed, that's on them and not on me. So I need to not ever feel like, oh, I shouldn't be talking about things or I shouldn't, I shouldn't state my big dreams to the universe. I shouldn't um, try to help as many people as possible because that is really what's inside me and that's what needs to come out. And if I try or if I, you know, if, if I feel limited by, well, if I say this and everybody from high school laughs at me or if my parents don't believe me or if my, you know, whoever it is from my past doesn't see me the way I see myself right now, I'm letting someone else's beliefs about me limit who I am becoming and limit who I can serve and who I can help and who um, I am, I am becoming. So think about that you know, that fear of what others are going to think. What are they going to think if I say that I'm launching an online business and I'm really excited about it? What are they going to think if I say whatever it is that you're doing that's big and scary? Um, you need to speak your truth of what's inside you and not limit what's inside you based on what other people think. And I was thinking about this, you know, this, I wouldn't, I would say this does not apply to politics. It does not apply to like, beliefs, you know, when you're posting about your political beliefs, that's not your deep inner truth. Typically, that's not your deep inner truth. So I'm not saying, I've seen a lot of political posts lately. I'm not saying go post whatever's in your mind and who cares what anybody thinks. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that if there's something inside you that you feel passionately about and you're worried what others might think of you, um, that is what you need to overcome and start speaking that truth. Because if you let other people's opinions of you limit what you're putting out there and the path that you're trying to put your life on, then think of all the people who are missing out, who, who, who you are not able to help because you kept yourself small, you kept yourself inside. So I don't know, that's pretty much it. Um, don't let other people's view of you or what they think of you or their preconceived notions of notions of who you are or who you were or how they remember you um, limit what you put forth into the universe now because if you don't put yourself out there and you don't claim it and you don't you know you don't 
go forward and put yourself out, nothing good is ever going to come from your endeavors. If you keep yourself small, you can't reach out and you can't serve others and you can't help people. And think of how you feel when you're keeping yourself small and just thinking about action versus how you feel when you're acting and doing what you've been talking, thinking about and doing your dreams and putting yourself out there. Yes, yeah, Stacy said, my life coach says, we are not responsible for how other people feel. No, you're not. You are responsible for yourself. You're responsible for being, um, for operating with integrity, for being authentic and for speaking your truth. And again, not just about like whatever the heck is in your brain. It's not like a brain dump. I can say whatever I want. And it doesn't matter what other people think. That's not it. It's, are you living passionately, intensely? Are you doing and sharing and being your best self and sharing that with the audience that uh, that you're trying to serve. So less thinking, more doing, and who whatever people think about you, it doesn't matter as long as you are speaking your truth, living authentically, and that's about it. And I set a timer on my watch, which you can't see, but it's buzzing on my wrist. That means I gotta go. Um, but thank you for tuning in and letting me uh, broadcast what's been on my brain. Feel free to subscribe to my feed, and um, I will respond to any comments later in uh when i after i pick up my kids right bye guys thanks